the Bible says that all things work together for the good of those who love him. See, I've had trouble comprehending and understanding these words. All things work together for good. See, it didn't make sense that through all my sorrows and worries of tomorrow, that things would work together for my good. That when I'm surrounded by darkness, sadness, feeling hopeless, worthless, my fears are endless, that things would work together for my good. See, but then I remember that this is how God's been working from time before the mess that was. He was able to restore, see, 40 years filled of with the adversities and uncertainties of the Israelites wandering in the wilderness. 40 years, there was this God who held them through each and every moment. This God who was full of resilience that led them to the desert and worked everything out for their good. See, I believe that this God that was with them through each and every moment is the same God that is with me in my uncertainties and adversities. And is me, with me here today. Now doubt. See, all my life I've struggled with this thing called doubt. And doubt has made me not raise my voice to praise him. See, doubt has caused me to feel and let it take the wheel and drive out hope. See, doubt has made me to stop believing when I'm not receiving and my world is caving. See, doubt has caused me to turn self-deceiving and stop believing in what I've known to be true. See, truth that there is this God who is living and breathing and is living within me and is speaking to every fear and is causing it to disappear. See, truth that there is this God who is working in me. See, truth that there is this God who loves me endlessly and tirelessly that he would leave the 99 and run after this one who will stray away and lead her back to his way. See, truth that there is this God who will stand by me when all the other gods I've created for myself abandon me. See, truth that there is this God who will call me lovely child even after after I think of done these ugly things, see truth that there is this God who will love me and embrace me even after I stray away. See truth that there is this God who will wipe these tears from my face even when he doesn't have to touch it. See truth that there is this God who was and needs and needs to come. See truth. See this is the truth about my God. And this is what he says, listen, that all I I'm doing something new today, something you would not believe even if the world told you about it. She says, I am doing something new today, something you would not believe even if the world told you about it. I am doing something new today. Now see these words, these words were told to Habakkuk by God when he was filled with doubt, when he was filled with questions, he was questioning how long, Lord, before he hears his cries, how long, Lord, before he hears him. See, oftentimes in my praying and in my waiting, I find myself asking these questions to God. How long before you hear my cries? How long, Lord, before you hear me? How long, Lord, before you hear my prayers? How long, Lord, before you hear me? How long, Lord, before you hear my prayers? How long, Lord, how long? But then I remember these words. I am doing something new today, something you would not believe. And I remember that in the chaos, in the violence, in the sexual injustices, in the emotional dysfunction, that he is doing something that in my waiting, in my whipping, in my failing, in my grieving, in my moaning, that he is doing something that when I'm on my worst, that he is doing something that when I'm failing, that he is doing something for he is faithful, for he is patient, for he is kind, and he is love, and he is God. God, yes, he is God, yes, he is God, yes, he is God, and he, he is a God, yes, yes, he is God. We declare tonight that he is God, yes, we declare that he is God, yes, it's a 
declaration that he is.